doing here? I have to see Kelly, all right? Well, it's very I'm important. real sorry it's a wasted trip. She's yeah, well, not here. Yeah, that's fine, because I'll wait. Thanks very much. Okay, let's see. I had the oysters flown in from Maui. We got the flowers all set. What else we have to do? What do you think? Oh, what do I think? They're beautiful. Your mother's favorite flowers. They're wonderful. Oh, you have no idea what I went through to smuggle these in. I had to make sure <laughs> she was busy at the front door while I snuck the florist in the back. Uh, nothing spices <laughs> up a room. It's like a little espionage, right? Right. I can't wait to see her face when she walks in and sees the flowers, the candles, and the table set. Oh, I forgot the one most important thing of all. What's that? Most important paper your mother and I ever signed, except for our marriage license. This gets signed and dated today. Uh, it cancels the divorce proceedings. So that's what this is all about. You ply mother with a little soft music mm. and some fine wine. Think she'll sign it? How could she resist? Mm. Thank you for being my accomplice. When are you and Mom about to leave, huh? Here in a few minutes. You know, Daddy, I would do anything to see the two of you get back together again. Despite my own situation, I am a sucker for happiness. So am I, baby. So stick around. Let's not have any talk about endings. We're talking about new beginnings. So have you guys come up with a wedding date yet? Mm. No, we haven't pinned it down yet. But it should fall somewhere after the Olympics, but before Fergie's baby. Oh, sounds like a big summer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I had my uh, mother's stuff sent out to me. I got her wedding dress and this beautiful handmade veil that was her mother's. Oh, you sound like you're going for the whole tradition. Oh, it's That's gonna great. Be gorgeous. Yeah. Well, it's not going to have quite the same historical flavor that your wedding had, but it'll mean a lot to me, you know, having my mother's dress at my wedding. Hey, why don't you come by later and help me try things on? Oh, I'd, I'd love to. Do you know what time it is? Uh, no. Oh, well, even if it's not a good day for you, that's no, fine. No, no, no. It's just that um, Cruz was going to be coming home. I wanted to be here for him, that's all. Oh. Something else? No, just everything that's been going on lately. He's trying to get custody of Tori's baby while she's in the hospital. and It's really not going very well. And being separated from his child is really tearing him apart. Tell you. Why? Neil Armstrong was a hero of mine. Neil Armstrong, the astronaut? Yeah. Yeah. He once said he believed that every human being had a limited number of heartbeats. And he wasn't going to waste his exercising. My kind of man. Well, I wouldn't worry about it if I were you, King, because I don't think you're anywhere near using up your quota. Hey, whoa, whoa. Hey, mi amigo, this is hard work. Let me tell you something. It'd be even harder if you weren't using this little hump here for a headrest. You see, you spin around and put your knees over that. Hey, that's that. it. You Forget it. Your gut. Forget it. I don't have to listen to this stuff. Abuse. What are you doing here anyway? Everyone knows you hate this stuff. I woke up this morning. I looked in the mirror, you know, a little ample. Thought it was time for desperate action. Oh, you look great. Says, uh, Andrea must think so. She's, she's mirroring you, isn't she? Yeah, I think she's marrying me in spite of it. No, you know, I think we're probably gonna have to change the vows, you know? For better, for worse. For, uh, flat stomach and love handles. No, I saw myself this morning and I promised... I was gonna get myself in shape before the wedding if it killed me. Which it probably will. Don't gripe about it, man. It's a good idea. It's good for your uh, mind as well as your body. It keeps your uh, muscles toned and your thoughts clear. Yeah, you know? shut up, man. It's a good way of working out any frustration that might come along. I think you better 
get out of here because if C.C. finds you Oh, what is this, Sophia? Is this concern for my welfare now or what? This is his house and you don't belong here. Yo, I think I can handle C.C., okay? What are you trying to do? She's made it very clear that she doesn't want to see you anymore. I think I'll wait and hear that from Kelly herself, if that's okay with you. You know, you just never change. All you do is think about yourself, don't you? Ever think for one moment what you might be putting her through? Are you really concerned about Kelly here? What the hell is that supposed to mean? I mean, all the stuff about protecting Kelly, is this some sort of a smoke screen or what? I mean, what's really bothering you? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about you and me. Now, if I remember the sequence of events correctly, you ended it with me. You didn't want me, right? So now, why are you so concerned whether I'm involved with somebody else? Because, first of all, you stole money from me. Secondly, I don't trust you. And thirdly, my daughter is not just somebody else. Hey, I didn't steal the money. I borrowed it, okay? And yeah, you're absolutely right. She isn't someone else. She's a remarkable woman. I am not going to stand here and have this argument with you. Because I'm right. Lady, you put me through the grinder because I made one lousy mistake. Fine. I don't know what kind of kicks you get off of being some scorned woman or trying to make me out to be some kind of a monster, but it doesn't play with me any longer, all right? I'm just not interested. Yeah, all right. This is Mrs. Capwell. Uh, I'm up at the main house in the atrium. I have an intruder in here, and I need you to come up and get rid of him. Thank you. Very nice of you, very nice. I see Cece has got you exactly where he wants you, Lady of the Manor, once again. You get out! I'm going. Oh, but uh, one more thing. I'm not giving up on Kelly. I I'll be back to see her, okay? Because I love her. all of the trouble that came to me in LA and this whole situation with Cruz and Chip and Victoria, it really makes me wonder if I ever want to have a child of my own. Oh, yeah, because you're talking about two, <laughs> two cases that aren't exactly textbook. I think it's going to be a lot easier when we have your own. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, you know, I know that Cruz is feeling awful, but I can personally vouch for the, the quality of care that Chip is getting at the Major's house. Yeah, well... I'm sure he's doing everything he can, but he's not the father, Andrea. I know, but he is wonderful with kids, Eden. He, he does such a marvelous job with the children at the center. And you work with him? I mean, you know him better than I do. What kind of person do you think he is? Well, the Major's not really an easy person to get to know. I, he, he doesn't talk a lot about himself or his past. He's, he's not one of those people who really is into self-revelations, you know? But you like him? I admire him, and I admire the work that he's doing. He's wonderful with the kids, and... He has a, a personal stake in every life that he touches. I, I can't begin to even count the number of families that he's helped reunite. As far as Cruz is concerned, this is one family that he is tearing apart. Yeah, but Eden, is that really fair? I mean, uh, from what I see, he's only doing what Victoria asked him to yeah, do. Yeah, exactly, but do we really understand this reason? Does it make any sense to you that Victoria would take her child, no matter how well-intentioned, and give that child to a virtual stranger when Chip could be here in a family? I don't know. I'm sure she has her reasons, though. Yeah, well, I would like to know what they are. For our sakes, as well as Chip's. Don't tell me your hands are tied. You're the one who screwed up. Well, I don't care what you have to do. I want it out on that flight, no later than the day after tomorrow. Are you all right, Major? Oh, I don't know. That was Bangkok with another delay. And it doesn't help that I'm running on less than two hours sleep. So I was afraid the child might have kept you up last night. Every time I started to nod off, Chip started crying, right on cue. Tonight, I want you to move him to the other side of the house. Well, may I make another suggestion? Why don't... I know, Kai, I know. You know, I don't think it very wise to have him here, especially when you're involved in negotiations that take your time and your concentration. I don't need you to remind me of that. The timing is less than perfect, that's obvious. Well, then why don't you turn him over to his father? I made a commitment to Victoria. She has some compelling reasons for not wanting Cruz involved, all right? Listen, I have got a lot of work to do, and I've got a lot on my mind. I'm sorry to hand you some more burdens, Major, but we received a phone call from Washington. Evidently, there is someone who's doing a background check on you. Who? Hmm. Well, they're trying to find that out now. However, I do know that the request originated here in Santa Barbara. 
Well, in light of all the circumstances, I'm assuming you want to change the schedule, at least until we find out who's doing this. No, 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 no. No, this has taken... This has taken far too long already to get everything in position. The briefing down at the docks will take place this afternoon. I don't want anything to jeopardize that transaction. We leave everything in place. Well, how about extra security? No. No, you concentrate on finding out who initiated that background check. And when you do, I want his name. Hey. Tell me something. You, you spent some time in Vietnam with the Major, right? Yeah. What is he like? Well, he's not exactly my favorite subject for discussion. But if you ask anybody, any of the men have served under him, they'd be willing to throw down their lives for him. A lot of them did. Yeah, but you don't like him. Why not? I guess I saw some things that I shouldn't have seen. He, uh, <clears throat> put his men at risk. Instigated some actions that I thought were reckless. I mean, it seemed like he was in it for his own personal glory instead of the safety and well-being of his men. I mean, there were days he made General Patton look like a girl's gym instructor. But some of the men loved him for it. But not you. Uh, he scared me. Not for my own personal sake, because after a while over there, you just didn't give a damn about that anymore. But there was something about his eyes, some... I don't know. I... He just couldn't figure out what he was thinking. And I don't know whether he came over there like that or whether he... that happened to him over there, but I, I didn't trust him. I still don't. How come you didn't tell me this before? Oh, come on, it doesn't come up in normal conversation. Besides, how fair is that? I mean, how can you hold a man accountable for things that happen in that insanity? Yeah, but this is the guy that's in charge of taking care of my son. I mean, you know, what the hell am I going to do about that? Well, if it was my son, I'd get him out of there right away. Wait to try this stuff on. What do you... <laughs> I didn't do this. Kane? Even I had everything in the boxes on the couch. Well, it looks like somebody had themselves a fashion show. And I bet I know who. Ming Lee? Andrea. I was yeah. expecting you home so soon. What do you think you're doing? Look, give me that, all right? I just wanted to see what was in the boxes. Well, why don't you try asking first? I mean, I have to come in and find my mother's dress on the floor. I was going to pick it up. You had no right to go through my things. I mean, I would never even consider going up to your room and pawing through your personal things. How dare you? Um, Andrea, look, I don't really think there's any harm done. All of this can be fixed. I'm sure she's very I mean, sorry. No, Eden, she is not sorry. She's never sorry. She does things like this to get me mad and to cause problems. Getting out of here. No, you're not. You are going to stay here and put these things back the way you found them. And you are never, ever to go through any of my things again. Do you understand? Even let's, uh, let's get out of here. So, if you got everything, Mama, what's your purse? Purse is right here. Where are you two up to tonight? Well, we have an appointment at the spa to get the work. Facial, uh, pedicure, manicure, massage. I think it's a waste of time and money because you're both gorgeous. Well, if you think we're gorgeous now, just wait. <laughs> Look, uh, when you come back later, um, I've got something planned for the two of us. It's a very special day, you know. I know. I want you to have dinner with me. Well, I like that very much. Terrific. But uh, 30. Formal. Uh -huh. I hope I have something to wear. You always say that. Uh, well, we'd better go, Mom. We don't want to be late. I love you. Love you, too. Thank you. Yes, you most certainly can. This is C.C. Capwell. Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Good. 
I, uh, I'm calling about that piece of jewelry that uh, you were engraving for me. Yes. Is it ready? Tonight. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Get somebody to bring it over here as soon as you can. I'd appreciate it. And you have a good day, too. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? No. Do nothing. We'll get back to you. What is it? Our friend in Washington has found out who's asking questions about you. Who is it? Cruz Castillo. Hey, look, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. It's only my opinion. I could be I, wrong. Are you kidding? I'm glad you told me, man. I trust your instincts like I trust my own. If you say the guy's trouble, he's trouble. Yeah, I mean, I didn't say he was trouble. I said I didn't trust him, okay? I put words in my mouth. Look. It's all, that's enough for me to know that my son doesn't belong under the same roof with him. Maybe if I, if I went over to talk to Tori in the hospital and just tried to explain to her what we're dealing with, maybe she'd come to her senses. I don't know. He's got a way of talking people into things. That's how he gets what he wants. He's probably already got her convinced. That's why she left Chip with him. All the more reason to get him out of there. In fact, I don't think I'll, I'll go to the hospital. I'll give him a call or something. I just... Answer the phone. Are you gonna, you gonna be around here for a couple minutes, though? Yeah, I'm, I'm right here. Yeah, uh, Victoria Lane, please. I think she's in 356. When? You sure about that? Uh, no, no. Thank you. What's up? She's not there. Victoria has been released. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna be asleep in a minute. This is so relaxing. I know. I, th I think it's, it's done us both a lot of good to get out of the house for a couple hours. Well, and not to mention the looks we're gonna get when we walk down the street together. Nah. Do you think men go through all this trouble to look good? Oh, sure, Kelly. Can you imagine your father coming to a place like this to look good for me? Oh, why not? You do it for him. Well, not everything that I do is orchestrated to please your father. I, I do do some things for myself. Bonjour, lady. Oh, bonjour, oh, I will be with you in a minute, Charlie. Hello, Mrs. C. Hello. Oh, I think you're going to have your work cut out for you today. Oh, nonsense. You look great. Now, Mrs. Fowler, next room over, she say to me, Eva, I want to look beautiful. And I say, uh, Cherie, nature only gives me so much to work with, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, how have you been? Well, I've been uh, trying to keep out of trouble. Ah. Oh, oui. I saw some of that uh, trouble last night at the lair. And me and some of the girls decided to go dancing, you know, but uh, I think it was just an excuse to check out that gorgeous hunk TJ. Oh, la, la. Now, that's the kind of trouble a girl could get used to having around, you know uh, what uh, I mean? Uh, yeah, uh, Ava... Uh... Oh, don't worry about your boyfriend. We just looked. We didn't touch. But, oh... The way he moves, I swear, every tongue in the place was falling out. Uh, Ava, I, I really don't think there's, a, there's something I should tell you. Oh, don't bother, Sherry. You could tell he wasn't interested. Oh, he was very nice in everything, a real uh, gentleman, but uh, he must have a real bad case for you, Sherry. He didn't even look for another girl. Oh, and you have been good for business? Ah, oui. Every woman who knows about you and TJ, she comes in here and wants me to do double what I do for you. <laughs> um, uh, Eva, I, I would uh, like to introduce you to my daughter, Kelly. Now I can tell there is a strong family resemblance. Same great cheekbones. Oh, I would die for some bone structure. You have great jeans, Sherry, just like your mother. So, uh, you have a boyfriend, eh? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little shaken still. Not to mention embarrassed. Uh, I'm sorry, I went a little crazy back there. Hey, well, under the circumstances. I mean, why do you think she did what she did? I don't know. 
It just seems that the same scene gets played out every time Ming Lee and I are alone in the same room together. She knows exactly which buttons to push to drive me crazy, and then, like an idiot, I react, and then she gets upset, and the whole thing blows up. Well, she obviously resents you telling her what to do. Yeah, but Ian, it's not as if I'm pulling some wicked stepmother routine on her. I mean, I think I've bent over backwards to make her feel at home. I have been more lenient with her th than I would be with one of my own children. So you tell me, where is the happy medium? If I don't say anything, she takes it as a signal to walk all over me. And if I, if I try to show the least little bit of authority, we either end up yelling at each other or, or we don't speak at all. I don't know, maybe, maybe I made too much out of the wedding dress and no, you're trying it on. No, I disagree with you. I think you had every right to react the way you did. I don't know what Kane is going to say when I tell him about I don't about think you should tell Kane. I don't oh, think that I... you should get him in the middle. Now listen to me just a second. I don't think that it is something that Kane has to worry about. It is something that you and Ming Lee have to worry about and work out. Now I have had experience with this, so I can give you some professional advice. At this point, I'm pretty desperate for advice. Yeah. Well, don't go home mad. Take a deep breath. Go and find her and just talk to her. Maybe you're trying to change her. And maybe you can't, Andrea. And if so, then you just have to accept her the way she is. And maybe you'll even come to love her. Do it for Cain if you can't do it for yourself. <laughs> I asked to see Tori, not you. Victoria's not here. I called the hospital. They said she'd been released. That's right. Well, then where is she? The hospital released her to a clinic where she'd be undergoing physical therapy. When did all this happen? I had her flown to the clinic by a private plane this morning. Now, there's no reason to be concerned. She's going to get the very best possible care. Why wasn't I told about this? Well, the decision happened rather suddenly. Uh-huh. I'll bet. Where's the clinic? I'm not at liberty to tell you. Then just give me the phone number and I'll locate it myself. She's not allowed phone calls or visitors. I want to see my son. I'm sorry, but Chip isn't here at the moment. I believe that he's on an outing with one of the staff. That's no problem. I'll wait till he gets back, Philip. Victoria asked me to restrict your visits while she's gone. She also requested that you don't come around here at all until she gets back. Is that right? Any other messages from Victoria? Mm -mm. Kai will show you out. Well, I have a message for her. You tell her to call me if she wants to hear what I have decided to do, which is take my son out of here. You got that? going to be trouble. Don't worry about Cruz Castillo. I'll take care of him. Maybe we should call the lawyer again. Honey, we just left word. The secretary said he's in a deposition. He'd get back to us as soon as he can. So why don't we just sit down, try to figure out our options so we're ready when he calls back? Options? What options do we have? Tori and Dr. Strangelove are calling the shots. Why don't you call Scott at the hospital? I bet he knows where Tori is. I tried that already. He gave me the same song and dance about uh, patient-doctor confidentiality and assured me that Tori was in good hands. I'll tell you, it's enough to make you paranoid. For all I know, she's packed up and left town. She could have taken Chip with her. I wouldn't Scott know. wouldn't have lied about something like that? Yeah, I suppose not. But it is odd, don't you think? You can't get a straight answer at anybody. You go over to the Major's house, you got that, that, that houseboy of his, that Kai dude and him, and they're just staring at you, and you, <laughs> you can't believe a word that comes out of anybody's mouth over there. Don't worry, trust him. Now, what is she? You know, have you seen the shape that she's in lately? I mean, she doesn't know what the hell she's doing. If it'll make you feel better, I had a long talk with Andrew today. She seems to think that the Major is taking very good care of Chip, and he's in good hands. Well, according to Kane, I should do whatever it takes to get Chip out of there. You see, different opinions. We should wait for the lawyer, and then we'll talk to him and see what he says. No, I'm not going to sit around here and wait for the phone to ring. I'll be an old man before Tori ever calls me. 
Well, where are you going? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a walk. I'll be back soon. Listen, do you have a little time to talk? Uh-huh. Well, I have to ask you a big favor. Okay. I can just make it over to the sofa in nice, easy stages. One. I was hoping that was you. No, 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 no. Ah, 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 one big ache. Oh. What happened here? Never mind. Just help me over to the couch. Oh. 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 Yeah. Now, if I could trouble you for just a nice, cold beer. How about some iced tea? I made it special. That's great. What'd you do today? Clean the house. Did the laundry. Did what? Here, taste it. That's good, but my tongue hurts. Oh. <laughs> well, after you finish that, mm. you can have dinner that I have already. Everything you like. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what happened? Something's wrong. This is all too nice. Can't I do something nice if I feel like it? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Um, look, the, the place looks great. Dinner smells wonderful. What is it? You're just saying that. No, I mean it. I mean it. Did Andrea come running to tell you what happened? Oh, now you see, I knew, I knew something happened. What, did, were you two at it again? It wasn't my fault. No, it never is. Now, what did you do or no, didn't do? Nothing. There were just some clothes I tried on, that's all. And that's it? I told you it wasn't anything. But you always take her side. I am not taking her side. And I will talk to her when she gets home. She won't listen to you. She hates me. Oh, we stop that. She does not hate you. Yes, she does. And she's going to try anything to make you hate me, too. Look, I am not going to listen to this anymore, because it's not true. Now, Andrea and I are going to be married soon. And we're all going to live here together as a family. Now, the two of you need to start getting along. I'll try for your sake. But you don't know her, Kane. She won't accept me. Never. Hey. Now, this <laughs> is very nice. I like this. Don't, that... don't, don't touch that. You'll mess it up. I think your mother will like it. That's the case. Yeah, she's going to love it. What I really think, though, is I should borrow you to come over to my place next time I have a hot date. I mean, this is great. Wait, I had a lot of help from Kelly and Rose is in the, in the kitchen all afternoon making something wonderful. I'm just not sure this tux is too much. You think it's no, too much? Tux tux maybe I should have worn a suit. No, no, a suit would have been better. Calm down, Dad. You look great. What, you nervous? Huh, no, me? <laughs> what are you talking? Yes, I'm very nervous. Well, don't be nervous. Oh, this is... Uh, Mom's gonna take one look at this spread here, and you can kiss that divorce paper goodbye. You think so? Yes. Why don't you? I just don't want to jinx everything by getting my hopes up too high, you know. But, he added cautiously, the way things are going with your mother and myself lately, I think there's gonna be laughter in the house very soon. Well, it's about time. You know, Dad... Huh? <laughs> we are all pulling for you. With Mom back in the house, I mean, it's going to be a family again. You know, the only thing we'll be missing, of course, is Mason. Mm. Um, but he's in on this little wild idea in spirit. What is this? Well, take a look at it. This confirm reservations of Pebble Creek Inns. Only one sweet in the name of Mr. Mrs. C.C. Campbell. <laughs> Special request, one, underlined one, king size. <laughs> You're too much. 
Oh, Dad, I tell you, you know, it was Eden's idea. We all chipped in this. If everything works out for you two tonight, you know, get out of here for a couple of days. My children are hopeless romantics. I love you. Thank you. I love you, Dad. You know, the only thanks I want, Dad, is for you and Mom to be together again. Not the way you belong. <laughs> so have you decided what you're going to wear to Daddy's dinner tonight? No, I haven't really thought about it. Well, no matter what, you won't be able to help being beautiful. Thank you. Are you excited? Well, I imagine he has... Uh... A lot of great things planned. Oh, I know he does. I almost wouldn't mind being a fly up on the wall tonight. It's so, it's so romantic. Yeah. Mama, there was something I haven't really been able to say to you. Um, I'm really looking forward to having your back up to the house. It's, I know Daddy's been miserable, and it hasn't really felt like a home without you there. It's been hard for me, too, Kelly. I know that, I know. But after tonight, you and Daddy should be able to put all that behind you. Well, we'd better hurry on. That Dad'll kill me if I make you late. I spent you back today. What are you doing? Oh, well, stupid me. I lost my phone book, and I needed to get the number for the Washington Relocation Center. So well, you should have called me or, or Kai. Oh, I would no, have given no, it no, to no, you. No, 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 I was, I was passing by, and it was no bother, really. Well, anyway, I should be getting back, or I'll be late for dinner, so I guess I will just uh, see you in the morning. I don't want to hear anything but success. I can't do it. I've tried everything to tempt Cain, but his morals are too strong. So is his love for Andrea. There's nothing I can do to stop this marriage. I don't believe that. I've seen the way Cain looks at you. He wants you, and you're going to give him what he wants. You mean what you want. I'm not going to do this anymore. Cain has been good to me, and it's not right. What do you know about what's right? What you're telling me to do is sick. Like you. Major! She's just a girl! You're only You're hurting her! How dare you interfere! Hi. Sorry I'm late. Hi. Where's, um, where's Ming Lee? She's gone. Which is good because you and I have to talk. Sounds serious. She told me about what happened today. Oh, what did she say? She said you blew a gasket because she tried on some things of yours. Well, that's probably the condensed version. There's actually a little more to it than that. She was very upset when I got home tonight. Well, I was pretty upset when I left. Well, don't you think you were a little out of line? Excuse me? I mean, what's the big deal? She tried on some clothes of yours. Did you have to come down so hard on wait, her? Wait, wait, wait a minute here. Why are you so ready to, to condemn me based solely on what Ming Li has told you? She told me you hit the roof. Did you? Well, did I, you? I'm sorry, but I don't feel that I have to explain my behavior to you, Can You live here, for God's sakes. You see what goes yeah, on. Yeah, I do, and I'm getting a little sick of what I see. What? I mean, she was very upset. Well, I'm sorry, but why are you so willing to assume that, that I'm the villain in this? I didn't say that. No, but you implied it. I mean, that girl has not made one effort to get along with me since day one, and you know it. She's having trouble adjusting. She's uh, just a kid. Oh, give me a break. She's just a kid. I am sick and tired of hearing about the kid. And why do you keep making excuses for the crappy way that she treats me? I I'm supposed to be this unending source of, of support and understanding for her. Because I expect more from you, that's why. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm a human being. 
She really has you fooled, you know that? You don't know her at all. No, 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 no. I think you're the one I don't know at all. I mean, Ming Lee's been trying to tell me how much you dislike her. And now I see why she thinks that. Well, you want to know the truth? Yeah. I don't like her. I don't like her at all, and I don't like what she's doing. Can't you see she is trying to pull us apart? So far, she's doing a pretty bang-up job, too. Well, I guess she wins then. Because I certainly don't want to go through this anymore with you, and I have no intention of competing with her to find out who you love the most. Well, what are you doing? I'm giving this back to you. I'd say under the circumstances, it's a little inappropriate to talk about a wedding, wouldn't you? Well, look, I will send for my things tomorrow. Andrea, wait! Andrea, you are really terrific. I really owe you one. Mm-hmm. Thanks again. Listen, um, are you okay? Oh, you just sound a little funny. All right, okay. Well, give our love to Kane. And thanks again. Bye-bye. Don't tell me being married to Detective hasn't rounded off because look what I've got. Victoria's number at the clinic. How did you get that? Geniuses never reveal their sources. Andrea copied it out of the Major's phone book. I tell you, this, let me have this. <laughs> Remind me to kiss Andrea, too. This is the first good thing no, that's I happened to me all day, and I have you to thank for it. I know how important it is. Yeah, well, given the circumstances, I doubt most wives would be so understanding. Well, I have a wonderful husband. I wish I could do more. So what do you think? Should I, uh, should I call her? Let's do it together. We'll call her. If she's there, maybe she'll even let us pick up Chip tonight. Well, that'll be the day, but I guess it doesn't hurt to wish. Really, baby, thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. This has been driving me absolutely... Uh, excuse me, um... Did, what, uh, I made my doll... What, what number did I reach? No, that's fine. Um, no. Thank you. What's the matter? Did you miss Duffer? No, I got the right number. I'll be damned. You know this clinic Victoria's in? It's a drug rehab center.
You asked me to stay away from you, okay? I can't do it. I can't do it. It's like not breathing. Look. Everywhere I go, baby, I think about you. I hear your voice. I smell your perfume. I want to touch your hair. At night, listen. At night, I dream about you. All I want to do is hold you. All I want to do is make love to you. I'll do anything for you. I'll do anything you ask. Don't ask me to stay away from you. Don't. I love you. Tonight on Assignment America, one man's odyssey to find and record the perfect sounds of nature. I'm Tom Brokaw, tonight on NBC Nightly News.